This is Young Trader, and this is Midday Trading. We're going to take a look here at crude oil and natural gas, and then we're going to take a look here at one of my favorite, Goldman Sachs, GS. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy selling stock market ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your one minute and your five minute chart. Now, just absolutely excellent trading here. I am on my third scalp on UCO. I'm going to show you that here in just a little bit. Now, what do we have here? One minute chart. You can see how nice this is just progressing right on up. Progressing. I don't know if that's a word. But anyway, what we're doing is we're going to look at here at this uh, 8156. That's your 200 day here on your one minute chart. Now, this is where I took the trade. Okay, so you look at it right here. Okay, we had that red candle, then we had the green, and then we just rolled that right on up here very nicely. Then I'm going to show you here on the next chart where we had a top. And then we put that red candle. That tells you you got to get out. Okay, we came on down. Now we're rolling up here very, very nicely. So what we have here is a nice series of higher highs and higher lows going on here. Now if we can break up through this uh, key 200 SMA here. We'll take this bad boy higher. Okay, let's take a look here at uh, crude and UCO uh, side by side. Okay, here we have the crude oil, your five minute. Then we have the UCO, your five minute. Now. This was the trade right here, okay? So when you see that red candle, that's what we have right here, okay? Next, we have that nice green candle. That's a good time to take it long, especially now you can take a little bit more risk because you're kind of like in a bullish phase here as long as we hold that eight M uh, simple moving average on the daily chart. Okay, now you can see where the UCO ran right on up here and we had a green, you got as high as 33.60, but then look at this red candle. That told me to get out, okay? So when I bought this here, okay, uh, what I did is I bought this at uh, uh, 3330, okay, and I had a break even stop. Then I just let it run up and I kept on raising that stock up 10 cents, okay? So I put that stop in at 3350. I didn't get the high at 3360, but I got 20 cents on that 5,000 shares. Very nice. Now it came on down here. So when you look at this situation, what you do is you compare it to right here. You have a low, higher low, higher low. That tells me the green candle get back in here again, okay? So now I am back in on the UCO here, okay? So you hit a low of 33.36, I didn't get that. I'm in at 33.40 and I have another break even stop going at 33.40 and I'll be raising that stop up as it progresses to go higher. Okay, let's take a look here on a daily and a weekly. Okay, here we have the daily chart. Now you can see here in uh, pre-market ran up very, very nicely here, but you couldn't hold, if you watch my video this morning, this is what we were looking for, okay? That 82.04, that was key, we need to close back above it. Okay, so got right up there very nicely, made a high of, of uh, 82.72, which right there was the resistance at um, uh, uh, 82.40, but if you look at the closing number, it was 82.73. See, everything's right up here, so you always look at the candles, the high, the low, and the closing, okay? So 82.73 uh, uh, was on this, uh, um, uh, on the closing here. So what we want to do is the next level here, what we're looking for is uh, on this candle right here, is uh, we're looking, if you can get above this 82.72, 82.73 level here, then we're going to be looking right here at the top of this candle. You're looking at 83.30 and then we have 83.91 and then we're looking here at 84.46. Now you can see how we have uh, the higher low uh, and the higher high going on here. See how nice this is? and you're above this 8 SMA. Now, even if it does, it comes down, that doesn't mean anything, we're looking at the closing basis. Now, okay, that's what you're looking at. When it closes, that price needs to be above that 8 SMA. Because look at here, what happened? Okay, next day, see that? Next day, look what's going on here. Long as you close above this 8 day, you got your security that says, hey, this is gonna go higher. Even though we have this candle, but it's Friday, a lot of people wanna take their profits. Like me, I'm just trading this bad boy, okay? So that's the key. Now. If that eight day gets lost, then we'll come over here to the old hondo here at 79.96. Uh, we'll come over here to your uh, 200 day. Uh, what do we got going there? You got, uh, let me see if I can watch them in there. Yeah, uh, 79.49. And then we have your 50 day at 79.33. But we're really looking at this eight simple moving average on the downside. Now, here on the upside, we have a, a, a lot of levels here. This is what you're looking for. Okay, this is that 81.90. And then we're looking through yesterday's high at that 8204. You really wanna close above that 8204, then we can go right here to the top here at that 8272. But just 
Always look to the left of the chart here and look at the high, the low, the close. Okay, so you had that nice high at 83.91, that low at 82.40, and then you have your closing number at 82.73. So just always watch that because that's going to be your resistance levels and your upside targets. Okay, so always remember that. Now here on the weekly, looking very, very nice. Bottoming tail, higher highs, higher lows, looking very, very nice here to go higher. Look at your MACD. You're looking for a get a, a bullish cross there, that green cross that red here, maybe even next week. This will send that price up. And your big retest that we're looking for here is 87.67. Uh, okay. So right now, just trade this, especially like on a Friday, trade this market. Very, very rewarding. Okay. Let's take a look here at Natty Gas. Okay, here we have natural gas. Now, not so good here on a natural gas if you're long which I am not, okay? So I scalped uh, uh, KOLD today. You had a really on the bottom, you had 46.36, and on the top you had 48.55, okay? So you roughly had a two-point spread. I didn't get the two points. I got a point and a quarter, okay? But I'm happy with that point and a quarter because I'm doing a, better, a little better job there on the old crude, which I'm paying a little bit more attention to. This is just looking here for money in the old pocket, okay? So what we're looking at here is when this eight-day crosses that 21-day, that's bearish, okay? That's always, always bearish. When that eight day crosses above, this is what you get. That's very, very bullish, okay? See how nice that is? Now, this cross below. So if you watched the video this morning, it says you got to get and close above this eight day. So you're looking at resistance upside is 2.74. Then we'll look at today's high, 2.76. Then we have yesterday's high. We're looking at uh, 2.78. But this is the target that you'd be looking for is that 2.79. You get above that, then we can follow 2.83, 2.84, and then basically 2.86. That's what you're looking for. But again, all this is meaningless unless you can get above that 8 SMA here and then head and crack that 21 day and go higher. If you can't do it, this is going lower just like we have. Now, what do we got here, okay? High, lower high, lower high, and lower lows, never good. Okay, so... Right now, uh, Natty Gas is sitting at 2.61. Okay, so we've lost this 8 SMA here as of right now. We don't know what you're going to do at the end of the day, but as of right now, you lost that 2.64. So when it came down to two point, uh, 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 the low here today of uh, uh, 2.62, I should say, then what we do is we just look right across here. Okay, what do we got there? You got 2.60. That's what you're looking at. And then we're looking here at 2.57, and then basically 2.52. And then we have your 50 SMA sitting right there at 2.50. And then we have your 200 day at 2.47. Not looking very, very bullish right here at the moment. Now we had a nice sideways action, but nothing is confirmed that that's going to go higher. Number one is this, MACD. See this? When you cross over, that's a sell signal. RSI, just heading right down, that's a sell signal. Can't get above this eight day and the eight day cross the 21 day, sell signal. Red flag, red flag, red flag tells you you gotta go short, okay? So right now I'm out of, I'm flat. I got my point and a quarter out of KOLD and I'm satisfied right now. I'm gonna see how this is all going to shake out. All right, let's take a look here at uh, Goldman Sachs. Okay, here we have Goldman Sachs. Now I'm a long-term holder of Goldman and JP Morgan. Those are my two two favorite banks. I'm a long-term holder, plus I also trade it, okay? But now you can see what we had here is you had a high, a lower high, and a lower high. However, what we did, we put in here, it came day down, you held that 50-day. So we have a low there of 439.15. However, okay, right there, 439.15. Then when this sold off, you put a low in here of 442, okay, uh, 80. So we have a higher low and a double bottom situation. Now we're back above that 50 day and you're heading into all this resistant level here. So your big level here resistance is gonna be right here. Okay, you're looking at 453.42 and then we're looking at your 8 SMA, 455.08. You need to close above. Now when you look at this, you say, well, it is already above. Well, yes and no, okay? You got above, but you gotta close above all that, okay? If you can close above that, then we look at today's high, 457.34. Then we'll come right here, 457.93. Uh, uh, and then we can just follow these candles right up here, 458.80. We'll come up here. We have uh, uh, 464.08. Uh, and then we'll come right here all the way through until we get this 471.48. You break above that, 
then 500 is obviously going to be your target. It's a nice round number. Okay. Now, downside. Always got to look at that downside. This is what you're looking at. It's got a hold right there. 447.66, that 50 day on a closing, closing basis. That's what we need to close. If not, then we look here to yesterday's low. You're looking at 442.80, and then we have your retest at 439.15. But right now, we got to just see how it all shakes out. So watch that 21 day on the upside, that 8 SMA, okay, on a closing basis. We get above that, then we can head to that 464.52 and possibly all the way to 471. On a downside, watch that 50-day, okay? Yesterday's low, 442.80, and then your retest, 439.50, okay? So this is very, very key. But again, you're trading in a range here, just a nice range so you can make money on this very, very easy. Because look at yesterday, 442.80, and then look at today high, okay, 457.34, okay? Really nice trading range. Now, here, you'll look at the weekly chart. This is going to be everything is this eight simple moving average. Now, you can see where, yeah, you went above, you close below. Above, close below. Above, close the war. Or, or, uh, close below. That's three weeks in a row that you can't kick this eight uh, simple moving ass, okay? It's kicking your ass, okay? So you're down below that. This is what you need to close above, this 455.62. You get above that, then we can head for that 464.52. Now, Oversold conditions here. Look at this MACD. Now the green is still below the red, but again, if that can curl up and get above, you got plenty of room to run. 50, plenty of room to run. Looking very, very bullish here. Okay, there's no divergences. There's no nothing here. This looks very, very good. Okay, weekly chart. You're just RSI here. You're just this is just showing good strength. Is all this is doing. Your green is still uh, uh, above your red. Yeah, they're kissing a little bit here, but that can turn up very, very easily, just like it really. Uh, he did uh, like uh, right here. Okay, so realistically, watch that 50 day, watch yesterday's low, and then watch that 439. Upside, 21 day, 8 day, you close above it, 464.52 is your target. Above that, 471.48. Above that, blue sky, boom, heading to that 500. Okay, I'll be back here after the old pit close, and we will go a little bit more in depth on Krutsky and Natty Gas. Okay, thanks for watching.